Hi guys, so today I'm here with a haul video for you. Um, a little bit of it is nail mail and the rest is what I've picked up while shopping. And I've also just noticed that I've got a casualty. Um, I've got naked nails at the moment. I was going to paint them tonight and my little finger has decided to break, which is my swatch in hand. Um, so that's not good. So I could be filing them down in a short while. Anyway, so I will start with my nail mail. And this week I had a package come from Arda's Nails. Um, I've, I haven't bought anything from them for quite a while. Um, I've been waiting, I was going to wait as well for the end of the year to buy um, quite a few of the charity polishes altogether. But there was a few shades that I wanted, um, so I did treat myself to a, to a little parcel. Um, so I picked up, first of all, I'm going to show you this one first, um, I Love You Honey Bunny. I've seen so many people talk about this polish and it's a purple so I just felt the need, I just thought I had to have it. Um, apologies for the, the light, it's a bit of a dull day today. Um, but this is a super hollow purple um, and I think it's probably not going to be about for too much longer so I needed to get that before it went totally. Um, I also picked up Stephanie as a weirdo, um, another polish that I kept looking at and thinking do I, don't I, um, but I took the plunge and ordered it and uh, it's amazing, there's so much packed into this polish, it, it's, um, there's certainly a lot more in there than I thought there would be I have to say, um, and it's so pretty, it's going to be so difficult to decide later on what to put on my nails. Um, yeah, I've just got so many to choose from. Um, so I picked up two of the charity polishes. First up I picked up August, which is called Pumpkin Juice. Um, I'm loving orange nail polish at the moment. And this is just gorgeous, absolutely rammed with flakers and things. Um, some hollow glitter in there as well. Um, yeah, really pretty. Um, it was out of, I think, it, was it out of stock? I couldn't get it one time I looked, so um, I saw that was back in, so I picked that one up. And finally, um, I picked up November's Charity Polish, which is XY Zurich. Um, several reasons I picked up this one. Firstly, it looks a lot like uh, Me I'm 3, which is one of my favourite Arda's nails. It's just a different shade. Um, secondly, I needed an X polish. <laughs> so this, this um, fills the spot of polish beginning with X. Um, obviously it's the charity polish um, and it was done with Claire and also it's just so super sparkly and pretty. Um, so yeah, I knew the second I saw this, I knew it was one I needed. So those are the four polishes I picked up from Arda's Nails. Um, so a few more to add into my collection with the new bottle shape as well. So then I've been shopping a couple of times trying to get Christmas sorted. Um, on my one trip I only picked up one polish and it was this one from Primark. And it's one of their PS de Gel Effect polishes and it's called Mustard. Um, very, very pretty. Don't know if, I don't think I've mentioned this in a video. No, I haven't mentioned this yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I only got it recently, but then I'm just having a bit of a mind blank now. But no, so um, these polishes are really good actually. £1.50, £1.50, £1 something like that. Um, yeah, really lovely polishes. So if you go into Primark and see some, then try them. And apparently, um, I did gift uh, one of them, was it called? I'm not sure if it was called Eggshell or just, I can't remember the name, but I sent one to Amanda and one to Louise, and Amanda said that it stamps well, so um, so it may be worth having a look at maybe if they have a, a black and a white, I don't know. So that was a, a Primark one. Then, literally today, I've been off again, and um, first of all, I wanted to check Sally Beauty for the new Sesame Street polishes, and they had them. So the main one I wanted was Celebert, which is this gorgeous sparkly, like yellow gold glitter. Um, I wanted this because I've got the Ernie one and so I wanted them to go together. Um, so I picked up that one. I haven't actually got round to watching a full collection video of these, so I wasn't totally sure. I knew there was two that I knew I liked, um, but the rest I wasn't sure about. I really wanted to see them in real life rather than just on photos. Um, so I also picked up, I don't know, Fala, it's Fala La La La? I'm not sure, Fala R R R. I don't know. Um, anyway, it's the really 
pretty purple um, and it's got such a strong gold sort of shifty shimmer in there um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the camera to pick it up but it's so pretty it is a little bit sheer I think but um, wow it's just gorgeous and it was two two for three no three for two <laughs> I'm not doing very well today. Three for two, and um, so I picked up a third, obviously, and it I picked up since six, 1969, which is another sparkly. I love how sparkly this collection is. And this is like, it's like a gunmetal grey, and I don't know if it's got a hint of blue or a hint of green to it, but it, it's very pretty again. So I picked that one up. And then finally I popped into TK Maxx. Um, they haven't been very good um, recently, but today they had quite a lot in there. They had some China Glaze, um, they had some Essie, um, the twisty bottle ones, um, but I didn't pick any of those up. They were, there wasn't actually a colour that I needed, so I'm trying to be good. Um, so I didn't, yeah, I didn't pick up any of those. What I did pick up was um, a couple by this sort of brand, um, now I'm not sure what they're called because I've got, these two have got different names. The one is called, I know they are from CC Label, 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 um, I think it's European. The one on the front says CCL Beauty whereas the other one says CC Label. They say Vienna on them. Anyway, I bought one of these not long ago and I really like the bottles and the way they put the name on there and everything. So I picked up two more today and they're only like $1.99. So I picked up Sassy Since Birth. As you can see, the, the name is quite big here. As well as on the back, it's it's big on the front. Um, and this one is a, just a, like a glitter mix, but it felt really Christmassy. Um, so it seems it's that time of the year I, I picked that one up. And I also picked up Keep It Real Homies which is a very unusual grey, blue, purple um, shade there. Um, and the other polish I picked up was a, a topper, so I thought I'd be quite interested to see the formula on this one. As you can see, that one's also got the, um, the name there on the front, but I just think they're really pretty bottles. Um, I do like to display things like that, so I picked up a couple more of those. And I also picked up two polishes from London Town Lacquer. Um, I watch Cork Manicures on YouTube and she's spoken about this brand of polish a few times and every time I see it I'm, I kept thinking I'm sure I've seen it in TK Maxx and, but it's never in there. But today they were and I was like, oh, got a bit, you know, excitable polish moment. Um, and these are the bottles here for if you haven't seen them, um, you may have though. So I picked up this one which is called uh, Briolette, which, has, which to me looks like it's going to be quite glowy on the nails. It's like a pink with, um, it's got a strong f sort of shimmer to it. Um, yeah, very pretty. I'd say it's sort of a, a, a purpley leaning pink. Wow. Well, whether it's like lavender or whatever, I'm not sure, but um, it does look like it's going to be quite glowy on the nails, so I can't wait to try that one. And then I picked up, because the, again, there was mainly reds, um, whether it's because it's this time of year, I don't know, but I didn't need a lot of them. So instead I went for the gold, which is best of British. Although I've got a lot of gold polish, um, I do sort of gravitate to these sort of magpie colours. Um, so I picked up that one to try as well. The brushes are quite thin on these, um, so I'm not sure how we'll get on painting my nails, but I uh, wanted to give them a try and have done for a while, so I did pick two of those up. Those ones were slightly more expensive. They were three, $3.99, which I suppose isn't expensive, but it is when the others were $1.99. So, that was everything I picked up today. Um, yeah, I will stop waffling on now. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you've been picking up recently. I'll link Cork Manicure's channel back down below just in case you haven't seen that one before as well. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, please press on the subscription button um, so that you can catch all my future videos. And I will see you later guys. Bye.